there's such insular pockets all over that unless we were going out of our way to interact in this way, we could just go on, go on with our lives, never knowing of each other sometimes, it seems mm-hmm. like. Um, last month we went to South by Southwest, and the reason Austin is music mecca is because bands like of all different genres, ages, uh, locations, everything, all support each other. It's this pretty massive scene, and there's something to appreciate whatever type of music for the type of music that it is. Um, and that's like a regional thing that they have, and I think St. Louis doesn't quite have that yet, but it would be a really big thing for here to have that kind of regional supported scene as opposed to like, you know, my band in Dogtown never plays with this band. We'll have showcases or we'll have big events where we invite bands that we know to play. Mm -hmm. And that gives them pretty big exposure in some cases. So for example, we had a big party in December here called Hallelujah. And it was in the whole co-working space. So we had two stages and I think in total we had 17 or 18 bands play in one night. And it was all free and it was like this big publicized thing. And so for those bands, like they did us a huge favor in playing for free. But at the same time, like I know a lot of people who came to that party, about 950 people came to a holiday party, which is sort of silly. Mm -hmm. Um, And it was huge. And I know a lot of people I still hear say like, that's the best party we've ever been to. And like XYZ band was so good. Like I would have never known about that. You know, that isn't quite so much the top down me saying, you should do this and like meet this person and go here and then them do it and pay off. It's more the organic of like, let's just get a bunch of people together that we think can really create good energy and see what happens. I like to think that our real kind of mission statement is more about engaging people and letting them know what's going on so that they actually want to go out and see live shows or want to go out and explore new neighborhoods. And, and in that process, you know, lose the kind of regional fragmentation um, and just open their minds to things that are going on here. For example, in February, we had a roller disco at Skadium, and I think about 350 people came in disco wear, like dressed to the 70s theme, which was awesome, and MSIF uh, played in the middle of the rink and people could skate around them, and it was super cool. And honestly, MSIF is a weird band, so like for people... The people who came, some of them came for MSIF and were really into it, and others were like, whoa, what is this? But I love it because it's in the middle of a skating rink and this woman just came out of a box. So (laughs) um, it is really fun when we can do events like that. And frankly, like because Eleven started as a college magazine, a lot of our readers are students, and a lot of the student mindset in St. Louis is like, I'm here for school, I live in this little box that is a campus and whether or not I'm from here as soon as I graduate I still want to (laughs) leave um so to have an event like that where it sort of pulls people who are in that mindset down to South City from Clayton or from you know we had kids from Edwardsville who came out for that and they had a great time and they loved it like that is a really cool thing for us to be able to do 